Hey, Bass Geek here, and today I want to talk to you about storage, and I want to tell you why I use what I use in both my bank bag and in my boat. All right, guys, so I want to tell you a little bit of story, and first off, I'm going to say sorry about the traffic. Sorry about the lighting in the garage. I am actually at my mom and dad's right now. For you guys that don't know, over the past two years, I've been in the process of tearing down my old house. It was a house that my grandmother had left me and putting in a modular home. So we have it tore down and we are now waiting uh, for them to start putting the footers and stuff like that in. But anyway, none of that stuff really relates to what we're talking about today. So forgive me if you hear the traffic noise, forgive me if uh, it's interfering, but it's kind of the best I can do right now. So guys, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of story and then we'll get into talking about what you see in front of you. So, you know, guys, I'm not one of those people that sit around and say, I can't. I think I can't is a crutch. It's a easy way out. I think it's an excuse. Uh, if you say, I can't afford a boat like this. Guys, do you think I bought this boat brand new? This is a 98 boat that I bought in 2004 and I gave $12,000 for it. Now that's a lot of money, I know. But the way I look at things is what you really love and you really have a passion about, you're gonna make happen. You're not gonna make excuses. I know that might piss a lot of people off, but you know how I feel about life is, as long as I'm physically able, you know, I'm going to. You know, I, I put out two videos a week through the summer, through last summer, and I worked 80 hours a week at my full-time job. So. Don't tell me, I always live by the motto, don't tell me why you can't, show me how you will. That's that's always been my motto and you know, I, I just believe that you've just gotta get out there and believe in yourself because guys, if I can do the sort of stuff that I'm doing here with you two, any of you guys can. I mean, look at me. If this ain't proved positive, that anybody can do this, then I don't know what is. But all that being said, I wanna tell you a little story. So, you know, I bought my boat. You know, I, I didn't have a lot of money. It was a very, it was a struggle to make the payments every week. And so I, I didn't have a carport, still don't have a carport. This boat, the reason why it looks so rough is because it is it sits under a cover most of the time. And if it rains when I'm out fishing, then it sets out from under a cover because putting a cover on will actually cause the water to evaporate and get into every single thing. You know, just like a Coke sweating or an iced tea sweating, you know, that moisture latches on to those metal hooks, those metal blades, whatever's in there, and almost nothing can stop it. So all that being said, I ruined a lot stuff that I had worked hard for for years and years I ruined a lot of jigs and spinner baits and a lot of gear you know and for me because I've spent years you know this isn't something that I've amassed over just doing YouTube guys I tell everybody all the time you know back to saying you know do what you want buy and spend your money on on what you want Guys, I don't buy clothes. I, everything you see, even the stuff, the polos that I wear to work have been given to me for free. You know, because I coached football, you know, for years. Um, you know, that's just the way I am. I probably got two pairs of khakis that I wear to work every day. I think I've got one pair of blue jeans right now. Uh, you know, that's just, the way I am because <laughs> again shout out to my boy tackle junkie I'm a junkie for this this is my priority this has been my priority before I ever started a YouTube channel 
It's what I love. It's what I live for. And, you know, so that's how I prioritize my money. Now, of course, not my wife's and my kids' money, but both of my kids being grown does help me prioritize my money into a little more of this stuff. But I lost a lot of stuff that I'd worked really hard to amass over the years. And, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be able to just go out and buy that stuff over again. I started looking for a solution because I knew the solution, the, the tackle boxes that I had were not the solution. They were not going to save my, my gear. But I was also looking for a cheap solution too, you know. I mean, there's certain solutions out there, storage solutions that are just, you know, they're expensive. And so I ran across the Z Rust, the original Z Rust boxes. And you guys can see, if you go back for as long as I've been doing YouTube at this point, you'll actually see the blue tabs in the background when I'm in the dungeon, which by the way, unfortunately, the dungeon rest in peace. It's, it's gone, it's dead, uh, but hopefully we're gonna have a nicer dungeon. Uh, but you'll see the blue tabs. Well, I decided, luckily the local Walmart carries them, so I decided to try out the new Z-Rust boxes with the Z-Rust tabs that Flambeau had came out with. And guys, it has been a love affair ever since. I'll just be honest with you, I will not use unless just absolutely necessary. And now, because of the configurations that Flambeau makes their boxes in, it's no longer necessary to use any other tackle storage option, in my opinion. So, Flambeau, I guess, had taken notice of, you know, all the uh, blue tabs I have in the background on so many of my videos, and they reached out to me. So I am now partners with Flambeau, and they have came out with a new product called the Flambeau Z-Rust Max. Now, I am insanely happy about this because the great thing is, it's not only built into the tabs, which what I love about Flambeau is that you can actually buy the tabs to go in, so you can buy them brand new and restock these boxes. But what you can also do, these boxes themselves now are infused and they last, the Z-Rust lasts for a minimum of five years, guys, for the Z-Rust Tough Tangers. And let me tell you guys, they are tough. So I'm not gonna show you how I use everything. You can see my ego bag here that I'm a huge fan of. And you can see I'm already putting it to use with some of these. We'll go over some of the sizes that I ordered and I'll tell you kind of where they're gonna go. But guys, Z-Rust has saved me money. Now I know there's some other companies out there now that are starting to use the anti-rust stuff. But I'm just gonna tell you, in my opinion, Flambeau was the first, and I think I'm going to stick with the company that created the anti-rust boxes. I mean, they've got several years ahead of any of the other companies. And guys, these boxes are extremely, extremely durable. But for now, let's let me tell you kind of the boxes that I ordered and how I'm going to use them. Let's start with my pond and bank bag, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Of course, you can see here, now, the reason why I like to have some extra is because some of the stuff in here will be used for ponds, but some of the stuff I'll have to change out. So what I like to do is have me a couple of go-to pond slash small creek boxes put together and so that's what we'll do with some of these they'll have actual pond and small creek stuff constantly in them so i don't have to take stuff out of the box put stuff in the box so it saves me time 
and I can spend a little more time with my beautiful wife. So I'll keep a couple of these extra and ready to go in my bag. Same with these. These things right here are so awesome. Now you can get them where they have, like I said, these are the, you know, a lot of different designs. These little boxes are actually, whoop, are actually the 4007 ZMs. And so they actually separate inside. You can actually break them down. These are actually open. So I don't want these breaking down. What I use a lot with these are specialty stuff. I put a drop shot together. Put me a few baits in if I want to go to a pond. I'll put a uh, wobble head box together, a punch bait box together if I'm going to fish some grass. I can actually put me some spinner baits in one or some chatter baits in one or just a few jigs so that I'm traveling light. And then I can tuck them down in the side boxes here and here. And I've got the stuff I need. And what's great about these, these are 100% waterproof. So they really lock down and they lock down tight. But you can see they've got the blue seal, so you're not gonna get any water in these unless you're getting it in while it's open. Now, you're gonna see this is what I have the most of because this is what I keep in both boxes here at the front of my boat. These are the things where I, that I'm gonna keep my jerk baits, my jigs, my, uh, a lot of my crank baits are going to be in these standard size boxes. These are the 5007 ZMs. Z Rust Max is what the ZM stands for. And they're basically separated. Now, you can get them to where one side is open or they're completely non segmental. For me, I like them being segmented. So I use these the same way I use the smaller ones for my pond and my bank bag or my co-angling bag. And I'll use these, I'll gather up the different styles or different sizes of crankbaits or jigs or you know hooks or sinkers or whatever jerk baits that I'm gonna take with me. That way I don't take with me everything I own and I can swap the boxes out with what I've got in the boat based on time of year or lake I'm going to. Now, now we move on to the double deeps, guys. And the double deeps are something that I really love. And I use these, actually, I use these more to help force me to keep my soft plastic selection at a minimum than I really do anything else. But what I've found is that again, where my boat sits out, this is not, again, not my carport. So my boat generally sits out and has to be covered all the time. And even with the best of covers, you're gonna get a little bit of rain, a little bit of water in there. So what's great about these, we all know what soft plastics do when they begin to draw moisture. They begin to swell and disform. And so the great thing about these, they are waterproof, completely waterproof. You can see the lockdowns. These are the 5012 ZMs, the WP 5012s. And you'll see these are actually completely open. Now you can segment them. You can segment them sideways. But guys, I use these for from everything for my soft plastics, which I keep in the back compartment of the boat, to literally um, big swim baits that I want to take with me. I'll grab one of these boxes, put the swim baits in there, the big swim baits that I want, and take it with me. I also use those for a toolbox. There's nothing worse than when you need that set of pliers than having them rust and you can't open or close them. These things, I've got a set of tools back there and I mean I keep fuses, tape, you name it, anything I could need to repair this boat on the fly, 
as far as tools or things that I could need for my graphs. Um, you know, even heat shrink. I keep a lighter in there. And it stays completely and absolutely dry and rust free. And I've carried that thing around with me now for probably two to three years. So what I'm really doing is I'm upgrading from the original Z Rust to the new Z Rust Max. That's really going to keep everything from getting the tiniest speck of rust on it. That these are the same things. Now, this this is something that I'm going to try a little new. It's basically the same as the originals, but this is something I'm, I'm going to use. These are the 5005s, and they are completely watertight too. And what I can't wait to use these for is actually my treble hook baits. So baits that are a lot of metal. I can keep them good and safe in this Z-Rust Max box and keep them completely dry. And, you know, that's something that I haven't tried. I've used the big ones and I've been really impressed with those. I haven't used the single deeps. Like I said, you can tell the difference in how deep they are. So I want to kind of transition. These will be probably more so of what's actually in the boat since they'll stay outside in the boat most of the time and I can keep my gear dry. Guys, even if you're fishing from the bank, we spend a lot of money on our gear. And to me, it's almost a sentimental thing sometimes. I know I, I, it's weird. I get attached to my stuff. But... It's mine and I worked hard to get it. I've worked my whole life to build up a lot of the stuff that I have. And for me, I want to protect it. And this is just another way to protect the stuff that you're investing in to make your day out on the water better. But you know, that's one of the things that I've said, guys. For me, I always use stuff and I work with companies that I have worked with for years or that I've used for years before I ever partner with them. And like I said, you can go back to day one. I mean, I've probably got pictures before I ever started YouTube where you're gonna see the blue tabs in my boat. Uh, I believe in them, I trust them, I use them constantly. I've used them for, I mean, years. I probably use some form or fashion of flambeau exclusively for more years than I even know. I mean, I, I'm going to guess somewhere around about that eight or 10 year mark. But guys, like I say, this is a, uh, this is a dream come true. I appreciate Flambeau for reaching out to me. It's, uh, it's really a dream come true. I, I, I love their stuff and I've been a true, true hardcore believer in it for years. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Make sure you stick around to the end so that you can see if you won last Sunday's Mystery Tackle Box Pro giveaway. Uh, other than that, be patient with me over the course of the next few weeks. Some videos might be hit or miss. I'm doing my best. The house is my priority right now. All that being said, Links to everything will be in the description. So make sure you go check them out, guys. So as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. Guys, you know I love to talk about fishing with you, and I mean that. I love talking fishing. So leave those questions. I will answer them. We will talk. I enjoy doing it. I love talking with you guys. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell, guys. Please well, help me get to that 40,000 subscriber mark before the end of this year. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And as always, you guys rock. All right, guys, let's pick a winner for this month's Mystery Tackle Box Pro. We go ahead, we can see we're on the video. Let's go ahead and go into the random comment picker. Get those comments.
119 unique comments. And the winner is Shane Deal, Mystery Tackle Box. That's all you had to comment. Way to go, Shane. All right, I will leave a comment in your comment. And you can just reach out to me through my email at bassgeek.biteme at gmail.com. I'll put all that in a message to you. Congratulations, you won this box. And uh, I will get it out in the mail to you as soon as you uh, give me your address.